Hey, what's up YouTube Black Powder fans? Today, as promised, we're gonna cover how to waterproof a cap and ball revolver, or and this should actually work for any black powder uh, firearm that has exposed cones or nipples where you push a cap onto. Um, I was gonna delve into every single method that I tried and all of the results and whatnot, and I realized it's just way too tedious for a video. I'm gonna cut out all of that, not get caught up in the weeds, and we're just gonna go over what is the absolute best method that I found, the easiest for cleanup, and uh, let's get to that next. Regardless of what method I ended up testing, they all resulted in the lower portion here where the cones or the nipples are of the cylinder being submerged in the water for a full 15 minutes. I assume that when you load the powder, the wad, the properly sized lead projectile, and the grease over the top, that this portion is going to effectively be waterproof for all intents and purposes for black powder shooting. This portion though, where the nipple or the cone is, that is more subject to water getting in. Um, it's just friction fit with the cap. Um, if you go ahead and put a cap on all of your nipples or cones and then dunk that bottom portion in water for a full 15 minutes, I guarantee you none of them will fire. Um, at least those are my results. So that's without doing anything to waterproof it. Now what I did is the method that works the best, I did it in four different with four different variables. I fired them 12 times with all four variables as well so we're talking 48 shots i had 48 that went off perfect reliability 100 percent reliability and here's exactly what you got to do all right so you're going to need either the factory nipples or cones or slick shot um, nipples or cones and i used 12 remington number 10 caps with the factory nipples I used 12 Remington number 10 caps with the slick shot nipples. I used 12 CCI number 11s with the factory and 12 CCI number 11s with the slick shot nipples. What you need to do is take a nipple wrench like this. This one's from Track of the Wolf. Um, and then remove each and every one of the nipples from the cylinder. When you have them out, simply hold the nipple or the cone by the threads. Let's see if I can focus in on this. You then take a block of 100% beeswax. That's all you gotta do. And you're going to rub this liberally all around the outer side of the nipple. And I would bring this in closer to me so I have a little more leverage because beeswax is really hard. And it doesn't spread very easily, but you just wanna kind of scratch this all the way around, slowly twist the cone or the nipple in your fingers as you apply the beeswax. If you have a slick shot nipple, do not worry if you get a little uh, wax in the vent holes on the side of the slick shot nipples, not a big deal. And once that is done and you're satisfied, you should have a thin layer of like a translucent or a uh, yellow uh, coating on the outside that you'll be able to see. You then put all of these back into the cylinder and you put all of these um, and you put the cylinder back into the gun, reassemble everything. You then load the gun as if you had done nothing already. Now when you go to load the caps, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take, this will be on the gun as it is, so let me, let me use this one right here, put it on half cock. So when you go to put the um, cap on the nipple, you're going to push it on about halfway to three quarters of the way and then you'll start to feel the friction tension holding it on there now the caps as you can see if you can see that they have ribs on them that run horizontal here uh, from this angle and you take your fingernail and you twist grab into those ribs and you twist about an eighth to a quarter of a turn and then you push the rest of the way on and what that does is that spreads any of that excess uh, beeswax that you have on there and it'll cover any of the spots where you had it too thin or you missed coverage. And by doing that, that's what gave me the 100% accuracy. I was high 90s when I just pushed them on there. I got to 100%, not accuracy, 100% reliability when I pushed them on about three quarters of the way, twisted them a quarter turn and then pushed them, uh, pushed them home there. So once you get that done, these are ready to fire. So that's it guys, simply rubbing beeswax all around the outer wall of the caps or the cones, putting the cap on about three quarters of the way, gripping the ribs with your fingernail, spinning it a quarter of the way, and then driving it home. That's all you gotta do. 
I got 100% reliability from 48 shots doing that method after submerging um, these cylinders in water for 15 minutes. Hope that helps you out, guys. If it did, feel free to give me a like and a subscribe at the bottom. Uh, so one of my previous uh, videos, somebody commented that um, somebody already did this experiment and they gave me a link. I will now go and check out that video and see if they came to the same conclusions that I did. If just a quick little tip or trick, if you're thinking any method where you put wax on the outside of the cap, like um, you push the wax in around the cap, I highly discourage that. The best reliability I could get out of that was 75%, 9 out of 12 shots. However, cleanup is an absolute, um, trying to use a good word here, it's a pain um, to clean up. After you shoot, the caps will be embedded in that wax. That wax will be melted in it and it'll be in there. You can't reload the gun without disassembling it and digging everything out with a small screwdriver. When you use this method, um, you won't have any of the cap jams. Uh, the caps will fall off freely like they normally should. And um, you'll be good for a reload right afterwards. So hope this helps you out. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.